Let's learn how to add a lane to the data highway that's based on a custom control. As a nice example of this, I'll be looking at the output indicator for the barcodes vision assistant step. I'd like to be able to take the output of this Vision Assistant Express VI and then merge that into the data highway. I'll begin by creating a control, not an indicator as one typically would do, trying to create a custom control. Looking at the front panel, we see that this is a cluster array. First step, right click and say make type def or make this into a type definition. And that's indicated by the little black dog ear on the upper left corner. Go ahead and open this. And then I'm going to save this as a control and I'll give this a specific name. I'll call this barcode and CTL designates it as a control. I'll also give this a little bit more meaningful name that doesn't take up so much space. We'll call that barcodes. Now we can open the type def that defines the data highway. We have a little bit of extra room here. And then right click and select a control. And select the barcode control that we just created a moment ago. Drop that into the data highway definition and then go ahead and save that change. Now I can expose the terminal and look for barcodes. Make that connection and delete this thing that we use simply to create that lane in the data highway. Now I can go to another state and then use the unbundle by name. Select barcodes and as, uh, as I noted earlier Barcodes is an array of clusters. If we wanted to pick out the first barcode that was found, especially if we were only looking for one, then we can use index array. And now I have access to all of the data that's available from the barcode reader step.